Hello, you're very welcome to the Electric Ireland Ulster Minor Championship preview chat in the company of none other than the great Peter Canavan, of course current for Manor Manager, two times All-Ireland winner, six times All-Star and also in the company of uh, Garrett Coyle who knows the minor football scene intimately having taught in the great nursery St McCartan's Monaghan for the last decade or more and the under 17 development officer. Over the next few minutes we're going to talk prospects and who can win. You're welcome, gents. Peter and uh, Garrett. Garrett, I'll, I'll start with you first. Tyrone, if you like, have the history, but uh, in the current campaign, arguable that Monaghan had for form. Monaghan haven't won a minor title since ooh, 1945. Can they do it? Yeah, you know, this is their third final in five or six years um, at this level. Uh, we, ha we haven't got over the finish line yet. It's been uh, 68 years, long 68 years, but this is definitely a talented group of players. Uh, they've worked extremely hard all year to get the stage and hopefully uh, on the 21st they'll be able to end, end that hoodoo and lift that trophy. Peter, the contrast, uh, three titles for Monaghan, 39, 40, 45, no history whatever there. Tyrone, 23 titles, the reigning champions going for back-to-backs. How do you see this game panning out? Because, uh, the 15 Monaghan lads that are going out will be unaware of how many titles thrown of one or whatever all they're worried about is winning this particular match um, so it, I don't think it, it will have a bearing on it and uh, you know apart from that Monaghan are coming into this game with uh, a great degree of confidence after winning the Ulster Minor League and the fact that they've defeated thrown already in, in the league semi-final so I don't think any baggage or, or history will have, will have any bearing uh, regarding the outcome of the winners. Uh, Peter, it's a while back, maybe a quarter of a century since you played in an Ulster minor final, way back in uh, 88. What do you recall of those days and what might you say to the 30 individuals or more who are about to play in this Electric Ireland showpiece? Um, it, it was a massive occasion for young lads because, um, uh, you know, at that age, you don't know whether or not you're going to make it, number one. You don't know if you're ever going to play in another Ulster final again. So you really want to impress, you know, that there's going to be a big crowd there, it's going to be in, on TV. So there's a lot at stake and if you're not proper, properly prepared for it, mentally and physically, then, you know, it's, it's a, a big occasion to, to crumble or, or, or to make mistakes. So I'm sure these young lads, a lot of them have played in big games before, so I'm sure they'll, they'll do themselves justice. But the important thing is to go out and enjoy every second of it because it's going to be over in a flash. Garrett, in some respects, uh, it's already uh, first blood to Monaghan and the tug of war over Ryan McInespy, who of course lives on the border. Both counties were vying for him. How important is it that Monaghan have secured his services and in turn, how important a footballer is he? Well, Ryan, Ryan's a game changer, simple as that. Um, we're delighted he's talking in for Monaghan again. He, he represented Monaghan last year in, in the Ulster final and uh, didn't get over finishing that day. but. Uh, Definitely uh, the fact that Ryan's on board this year with us and uh, all boats well, hopefully. Now, Ryan living in Knockercloy and Throne and going to school will have a, an intimate knowledge of the Throne team, which hopefully uh, I'm sure he's sharing with the management team about uh, his opposition players. But, you know, Ryan will be welcome on any team uh, in the county or in the country. And I, I feel he's going to have a, a massive bearing on the result of this game. Yeah, Peter, Ryan McInnesby on the border, off the cloy. He's a good one. How did Tyrone manage to lose out there? At the start of the year, the Throne people believed that he was going to be wearing the Throne jersey this year, so there's going to be serious banter in the McNesby household. His mother, Brenda, famous ladies footballer, and, and played for maybe 14 or 15 years for, for Monaghan, and Vince, a very proud Throne man. So uh, I've no doubt that you've often heard about games being decided in the boardroom. Well, the outcome of this year's Ulster Minor Champions could well have been decided in, in the boardroom because I've no doubt that if McNesby, you know, had have got his transfer request approved and that he would be playing for a throne on Sunday, I'd have no doubt that the throne um, would win that game and it would be a massive loss to Monaghan. As it is, he'll be playing centre-half forward for Monaghan, exceptional footballer. And... Um, of course, I, would, I hope that it, for, for his sake that he, that he plays well on Sunday, but there's no doubt about it. If he had been withdrawn, I would, uh, it would have been a serious uh, improvement to their chances. Uh, Peter, we probably shouldn't overlook the factor, of course, now managing for Mana, but there is the 
Holy Trinity influence. And uh, you know a couple of these guys fairly well. There's Frank Byrne and Dee Dee McGrew, just fourth year now, 15 years of age. It's going to be a massive day for Dee Dee. You know, Dee Dee's an exceptional footballer and there's very few lads that will make minor plans at 15 years of age. And, uh, you know, just from watching his performances, he just does his usual thing. Uh, it doesn't seem to faze him, the fact that he's now playing for the county or, or playing in front of uh, big crowds. Just naturally a very talented footballer. Um, Frank Burns uh, has been playing uh, a strange role for him maybe this year. Throne have been playing with a sweeper in, in most of the games they played this year. And it's been Frank Burns who has been dropping back to play that role. Again, naturally, he's a very gifted footballer. Um, normally, he would like to bomb forward and to, get, and, and to kick a few scores, but he's had to refrain from, from doing that and play a more disciplined role. But the, uh, they're two very key players, and, and I hope that, that they perform uh, well on Sunday. Garrett, as under-17 development officer and as someone who's intimately associated with St McCartans and Monaghan, you have a broad knowledge uh, of all underage uh, football. What must Monaghan do to counteract the sweeper system and how important will goals be? Well, yeah, I, I suppose uh, all coaches out there look to see what's evolving in the game and how maybe to impart that in their own teams. And you know, I suppose everyone's trying to copy the doing goal mantra at this stage. But uh, I suppose uh, one of Throne's strengths would be how tactically astute their manager is. And you know, he's obviously realised he needs to tighten up defensively to block off supply at the full forward line and that's the system that they're playing. Now, I'm sure the modern management team are working consistently on how to try to break down a blanket defence because at the end of the day, scores win games and you have to try and beat that sweeper. Question to both of you, gents. Take the emotion out of this one and your obvious intimate associations. Who is going to win this one and why? Obviously, Bias Monaghan. And why? Um, you know, I, I feel... Uh, this group of players in particular have worked so hard, not just this year, but uh, since they first entered the Vietnam squad under 14 level. Uh, they're a tight unit, um, they're free scoring. They're, as I said earlier, their main strengths are E. Currents and a half back. Uh, David McAllister in middle of the field has absolutely lowered things there. And as, as Peter intimated earlier, they have free scoring forwards and they don't need to depend on any one man to get scored. Like. Uh, they spread their scores across the board. Every score, or every four is scored in the championship so far. And if enough supply ball goes into them, I'm sure they'll cause damage. Has he convinced you? Has he worried you? Yeah, uh, there's no doubt about it that this man and team would have thrown people worried and thrown aren't going overly confident. They're going confident, yes, because they have a, a hard working minor team. They're not laced with the same stars maybe as previous teams, but they are working extremely hard for, for one another. And the one plus that Throne have as well in, in the previous two games in the championship, they've been able to call on their bench with great effect. And the men who've come on have been able to do, to, to do a job. Stephen McGrath, I think, hit the net for them against Down. And uh, Shea O'Donnell came on and, and played well. So there is a strong bench there. And I think that just might be enough to turn it in Throne's favour.